in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make this heart shaped scrubby and in a previous video I showed you how to make a round scrubby using the red heart scrubby yarn um, today to create the heart I'm going to use the scrubby sparkle and if you look there is a difference to the scrubby sparkle it um, it has a nice sheen or shine to it so it does feel a little different as well um, but it's very effective at washing dishes just as well it's made out of hundred percent polyester it dries very very quickly and it's just great because they're machine washable and I just love these scrubbies ever since I've been making scrubbies with this I have not bought another sponge in the store <laughs> and you won't want to after making these so I'm going to go ahead and begin to show you how to make the heart scrubby. So to begin, we are going to want to start off with the crochet hook. The one that I used to create this one was a size H or 8. It's a 5 millimeter crochet hook. So what we want to do is we want to start off by creating a slip, a magic ring. So that way we can get the center hole to close up real nice and tightly in the center when we're done. So let's go ahead and do our slip knot. I mean a magic ring, sorry about that. Okay, so to begin, let's go ahead. Okay, so now that I have my magic ring all set, what we're going to do is we're going to start by chaining two. Okay, and then you want to do 12 double crochets into the center. Because the chain two is going to count as a double crochet, so we're going to count that. So that's one, two, three. It's really hard to see the stitches when you do this, so you want to kind of keep track. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Five double crochets. That's six. Seven. Nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Okay, so when you have your twelve, let's go ahead and cinch that little hole, close it a little bit, a little magic ring. Go ahead and do a slip stitch to the first chain two that you did. That's your first double crochet. It can be a little hard to see the stitches, but if you look, you can see them. All right, there we go. Okay, so that is our first round. I want to pull that tail a little bit to make that small, that hole as small as I can. Okay, so now what you want to do is you want to chain two. And we're going to do one treble crochet. So that's wrapping the yarn two times. We're going to do a treble crochet into the same one. Same stitch. Okay, and then we're going to do a double treble crochet. So wrapping the yarn three times, insert it into the same stitch, and do a double treble crochet. And then a treble crochet. So wrapping the yarn twice, and then insert it into the same stitch to work your treble crochet. Okay, so now in the next stitch, we're going to do one double crochet and one half double crochet. And then the next stitch we're going to do two half double crochets. And then into the next stitch you want to do one double crochet. And, oops, that one slipped off. Let me go ahead and do that again. So in that stitch you want to do one double crochet and one treble crochet into the same stitch. So the same stitch we did one double crochet and then one treble. Okay, and then in the next stitch, we're going to do two 
treble crochets. Oh, I skipped a stitch there. A little tricky. There it is. Two treble crochets into the next stitch. Okay, in the next stitch we're going to do two treble crochets. And one double crochet. So in this stitch, we're doing three stitches all in the same stitch. That was two treble crochets and one double crochet in the same stitch. Then do a chain one and do a slip stitch into the next stitch. And that is, four. see how your the half of your heart is sh taking shape now? Now, to begin the second half, we're going to do a chain one and do one double crochet in the next stitch. And then a treble crochet. And another treble crochet. So in the same stitch, we're doing three stitches here. We did one double crochet and two treble crochets, all in the same stitch. Okay, and then the next stitch, we're going to do two treble crochets. Okay, two treble crochets. And then we're going to do, in the next stitch, we're going to do one treble crochet and one double crochet. And then in the next stitch, we're going to do two half double crochets. So two half double crochets in the same stitch. And then in the next stitch, you're going to do a half double crochet and a double crochet. That was a half double crochet and one double crochet in the same stitch. And then you're going to join it to a slip stitch to the top of that chain three. If you can find it, sometimes it's a little easier to slip it into the top of that first treble, which is fine too. It works just as well. Okay, so now we have completed our heart shape. So now what you want to do is you want to create a second one. And before we do that, let's go ahead and fasten this one off. So just cut a little tail here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to pull that through to fasten off. So let's give it a little tug. And there you have your heart. So now let's go ahead and weave in our tails. I'm going to go ahead and use one of these plastic crochet needles I have. And I'm going to just weave that in. Okay, and then I'm going to take the other one and weave that tail in as well. Oops, that one doesn't want to go. Let me try that again. <laughs> there we go. Alright, so now I'm going to weave that in. So this is going to be the back side, because the side we were working on is going to be the front side. So after you weave that in, and those two tails are near each other, let's go ahead and just give that tie that a couple of times, so that way it doesn't unravel, since that's going to be on the wrong side. Because we are going to create two ha hearts, and then we're going to connect them together, because we want it to be, you know, a little thicker for a scrubby. So now that we have the first one, let's go ahead and do a second one. And... I already created one, so I have both halves done. So if you want to go ahead and pause the video until you have your second heart, you know, go ahead and then join me back when you're ready. Okay, so now that we have the two halves, the side that we were working on are the right side. So you're going to put the two sides together just like that. And then what we want to do is you can use um, the same color if you want. What I did is I used pink, and I used the same type of um, scrubby yarn. It's the sparkle. It's the pink sparkle and it's really sparkly. I don't know if you can see that. It really has a nice sparkly shimmer to it. It's the same type as the red. And I'm going to crochet a border around. So let's go ahead and do that. So with the pink sparkle, scrubby sparkle yarn, 
Let's go ahead and do a slip knot and start our hook into it. Adjust it down to fit correctly to the right size we need. And then what you're going to do is let's go ahead and start anywhere on the surface that you want to actually. So let's go ahead and start like right here on the side just before it starts to come around. That's where I'm going to do it. So I'm going to insert my crochet hook into the stitches. Now the stitches are hard to see, but you can see them if you look closely. I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but if you um, work on this, if you're working along with me, you will see those stitches. Um, if you look really close, you can see them. Okay, so now go ahead and do a slip stitch to join that. So now, what you want to do is chain one, and you're going to do a single crochet in every stitch around you. So you're going to insert the hook from the front of the first one through to the other side. So you're going to make sure that you're going through both the stitches to both hearts, basically, to connect them. Do a yarn over, and do a single crochet. Okay, so then go ahead and insert your hook into the next stitch, and then into the next stitch of the coordinating heart behind it yarn over and pull it through and just do a single crochet. So we're going to do that all the way around. I'm just going to keep connecting it all the way around. So just do single crochets and we'll keep moving. Now we're starting to go around the curve here of the heart. So we're still doing single crochets. I love these um, scrubbies. You can wash them in the machine. Um, they're reusable, and um, ever since I've started making these scrubbies, I never buy a sponge any anymore. Why? Why would you when you can have these pretty, sparkly scrubbies to clean your dishes with? <laughs> All right, keep doing single crochet, making sure you get that one behind it. Okay, now when you get to this point where the heart dips down into here, you want to do a slip stitch because we don't want to lose the heart shape. So do a little slip stitch right in there. Okay, there we go. And then continue on the single crochets to connect the two pieces together. Okay, so I'm just going to keep going all the way around with the single crochets. Okay, I'm still working my way around. I'm going to do single crochets all the way down until I get to this point. Then I'll just tell you what we're going to do is do something that's slightly different there. Because we don't want to lose the shape of the heart. So we want to make sure that looks like a point. So we're not going to do it just one single crochet in that stitch. I'll show you when we get there. So just keep doing the single crochets until you get to that point. And that's going to be where we had done the double treble crochet. That's where we're going to do something a little different to make sure we retain that point there of the heart. Okay, so when you get down to the point, what you're going to do is you're going to do a single crochet and then yarn over and do a chain one and then a single crochet right back into the same stitch. And then you're going to do single crochets all the way around until you get back to that point. And you want to make sure that you're picking up the stitch behind it because you want to go through both pieces. Just keep working around until we get to this point right here. Boy, this sure is cute. I think this would be a nice gift. It'd be really cute to give someone on Valentine's Day. Instead of giving them candy, you could give them these cute little heart scrubbies. You can make two or three. You could even make them in different colors. You could make this one in red. 
with the pink border and then you could do pink with the red border you could do just solid colors but if i think it'd be cute if you gave three different variations and then made like a little set to give someone okay so then now that we got to the point where we started there's just one more here all right so now on this one i did a second round of single crochets well actually it's not a single crochet in every stitch i'll show you that all right so now go ahead and continue around let's do a second round of single crochet so i'm going to go ahead and do a single crochet until i get to that little point there where it, where it curves in so we'll do a single crochet in every stitch Okay, so we're at that point where the heart dips down here, so we're going to do a slip stitch into that one. So we want to make sure it looks like a heart when we're done. To retain that heart shape, you want to do a slip stitch right there in the center. And then we'll go around with single crochets again. Until we get down to the point where we did the double treble. Okay, we'll just do single crochets. all the way around. Okay, so this is that point where that we have that um, we did the single crochet, the chain one and the single crochet. So right in that chain one, do a single crochet, a chain one, and then another single crochet. Okay, then we'll do a single crochet all the way around. Okay, so now we're ready to fasten off. Okay. Let me go ahead and cut off a little tail here. And then I'm going to pull that through, give it a tug to fasten it down, and then let's go ahead and weave in our ends. And since I already have one done, I'll show you after you weave your ends in, this is what it's going to look like. I hope that you enjoyed the tutorial today. If you did and you found it helpful today, um, I hope that you will subscribe, and I hope that um, you will watch another tutorial. And until then, happy crocheting!